Now, let's move on to the next session where Professor Aya Takahashi, Vice Executive Director at Hokkaido University, would like to introduce the, the university. <clears throat> if you have any questions or comments during the session, please feel free to send your questions through the Q&A box. Please don't forget to mention the name of the person you would like to address the question to, and we will answer the questions either in the Q&A box or at the end of the event during the Q&A time. Due to the time limit, please understand that we might not be able to answer all the questions. Thank you for your kind understanding. So, let us move to Hokkaido University's introduction session. First of all, I would like to show you a short movie about the university. Then, we would move on to Professor Takahashi's presentation. So, please play, please play the movie. Now, I would like to invite Professor Aya Takahashi, Vice Executive Director. Professor Takahashi, please. Thank you for your introduction. Welcome to Hokkaido University's Sakura Science Exchange Program. My name is Aya Takahashi, Vice Executive Director, Hokkaido University. Today, I will be introducing Hokkaido University and what life is like in Sapporo City. Hokkaido. I'll be talking about uh, three topics. Why Hokkaido? Why Hokkaido University? And admission information for graduate and undergraduate schools. First, why Hokkaido? Hokkaido University is located is in the uh, western part of uh, Hokkaido and uh, has the uh, fifth largest population in Japan. As Dr. Hawking mentioned in his speech, Hokkaido is known for its natural beauty and world-class ski resorts as seen in this picture. If you are a nature lover, Hokkaido would be a paradise. Here are some tourist attractions and activities you can enjoy in Sapporo. Sapporo offers the opportunity eh, to enjoy urban city life while living side by side with abundant nature. There are probably few major cities in Japan that are in such harmony with nature. Sapporo attracts many domestic and foreign tourists every year. 
Also, we are ranked among the top three cities in the best cities to live in Japan, ranking every year. Here is another important point for international students. That is a low cost of living. For example, the average monthly rent to rent an apartment for one person in central Tokyo is about 600 US dollars. However, the average rent in Sapporo is about 250, which makes about 4,000 US dollar difference per year. Now, let's move on to the next topic. Why Hokkaido University? Hokkaido University it was founded in 1876, and we are one of the oldest, largest, and most prestigious universities in Japan. In 1876, Dr. William Clark, who was the president of the Massachusetts Agricultural College in the United States, was invited to Sapporo to serve as vice president. The college opened as Japan's first institution of higher education to award bachelor's degrees. To date, uh, we have continued to develop as a comprehensive university in Japan for about 150 years. Throughout our history, we have continued to challenge the world of knowledge with a frontier spirit. Next, uh, let's take a look at a few environmental aspects of our university. Hokkaido University has the largest land area among 700 universities in Japan, including research forests and the facilities. Uh, it amounts to about 0.17% of the total land area of Japan. Uh, the pink circles uh, show where the student dormitories are located around the campus. The Sapporo campus has 11 undergraduate and 20 graduate buildings. Firms and other facilities, except for the Faculty of Fisheries Sciences. The campus of Fisheries Sciences is in Hakodate City, which is about a five hour drive away from Sapporo. These are some pictures of the Sapporo campus. Uh, the seasonal scenery is really beautiful and filled with greenery. It's a very quiet and relaxing environment uh, for study and research. We have a range of international student support. First of all, uh, we have a tuition fee waiver program. Students can receive a 25%, 50% or 100% tuition fee waiver. There is a good chance that you will receive one too. The university also has seven student dormitories. It's cheaper than renting a regular apartment. The university can help arrange your initial accommodation, uh, so you don't have to worry uh, about finding an apart apartment right away, uh, right after you arrive. Uh, finally, I'd like to introduce some admission information uh, for graduate and undergraduate level. Hokkaido University has 12 faculties and 21 graduate schools uh, in total, covering almost all areas of uh, humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences. 18,000 students and 2,300 faculty members uh, engaged in study and research. One of the 18,000 students, 2,000 students are international students uh, from 100 countries and regions. About 1,500 international students are postgraduate. As you can see here, international students can earn their degrees in English at most of our graduate schools. The graduate schools with a red circle uh, have a special degree program offered in English for international students. Even if you don't see a circle here, you may be able to get your degree in English uh, depending on your research field and your instructor. About 500 of the international students are in their bachelor's degree. International students 
uh, in the bachelor's degree can study either in English or Japanese. If you wish to study in Japanese, uh, you should take self-supported international student examination, uh, which requires a high level of Japanese language ability and EJU scores. After entering, uh, you will be studying in Japanese uh, with Japanese students at one of the 12 schools. If you wish to study in English, uh, you have ISP, MGSP options on the left. I will talk about them later. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, cover everything in this session. Uh, so please refer to the application guidelines. Uh, please visit our website, uh, click admissions and undergraduate admissions or graduate admissions. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us by email. Now, uh, let me explain one of the English offered programs called ISP. ISP stands for Integrated Science Program and consists of bachelor's and master's degree programs. In the bachelor's program, a student can major in physics, chemistry, or biology. And in the master's program, they can apply for a graduate school of Hokkaido University where they can study their own specialized field. All classes uh, required for the degree are conducted in English, so Japanese ability is not required for your studies. Basic Japanese language classes are in curriculum uh, so that students won't have problems living in Japan. After entering uh, the ISP, students take a wide range of liberal arts course called general education courses for the first six months. Then uh, students are assigned to physics, chemistry, or biology course. Students also take classes uh, to de develop uh, business and leadership skills to apply uh, their knowledge of natural sciences to their future career. A bachelor's degree program usually lasts for four years in Japan, but the ISP students can graduate in three and a half years if they meet the requirements. The goal of ISP is to nurture future readers in the field of natural science. So students are strongly encouraged to continue on to the master's degree program after the bachelor's degree. The ISP has two main scholarship programs, the ISP scholarship program and the mixed scholarship. As uh, for the details of these scholarships, please refer to the application guidelines. ISP students are from all around the world. They are all connected by their common interest of science, and they support each other in their student life. The faculty members also uh, come from uh, diverse backgrounds. It can be difficult to adjust to a cross-cultural environment, but the low instructor-student ratio enables you to receive not only close instruction uh, in the natural sciences, but also on how to overcome the problems of living in a foreign country. The next program is Modern Japanese Studies Program. Modern Japanese Studies Program, MJSP, is a four and a half year undergraduate program. Students study a Japanese language as well as culture and history and the society and the political economy. MJSP is an English and Japanese bilingual program. In the first and the second years, the majority of classes are offered in English but in the third and fourth years, students take classes in Japanese with Japanese students at the faculties of humanities and human sciences, education, law, and economics and business. Japanese ability is not required at the time of entry. The reason why students are not required to have Japanese ability in the beginning 
is that the program offers an intensive Japanese course uh, for the first six months. The course is designed not only to provide students uh, with basic Japanese language skills, but also to familiarize them with life in Japan before they begin their bachelor's degree. After the six months course, students will begin the four year bachelor's program. By the time they graduate, uh, they will have a high level of Japanese language ability and knowledge about the Japanese society and the world. MJSP has a special tuition fee waiver program and a scholarship program. All first year students in the bachelor's uh, program receive a 100% tuition fee waiver. From the second year and on, students can receive a waiver depending on their academic performance in the previous year. The MJSP students come from all over the world. There are probably a few places where students around the globe can gather at the world class university to study about Japanese language and Japan. Here are the faculty members who also come from a variety of backgrounds. Uh, they will stimulate your intellectual curiosity about Japan and help you excel in your studies and research. MJSP has had graduates since 2019. The graduates found employment or continue their education not only in Japan, but also abroad. Now, uh, we will show you a video of ISP and MJSP. Uh, please note that this video was uh, filmed during the time when COVID was spreading. So some online classes are shown, but most of the classes are now conducted face to face. Please enjoy the video. Hi, good morning. My name is Bon. I'm from the Philippines. Currently, I'm studying at Hokkaido University in its Integrated Science Program. I started studying in Sapporo around one and a half years ago. In the mornings, I just usually wash my face and drink either coffee or hot chocolate depending on my mood. So yeah, that's usually how the start of my day goes by. Uh, recently, since many of the classes are held online, when I wake up early in the morning, I have a lot of time to prepare for the first class and review the lessons I have learned in other classes. I think this is a good point of having online classes because, well, I have a lot of time to review and reflect on what I have done for the past few weeks. Another snowy day in Sapporo. Seems a bit cold outside today. I wonder if the weather will be good today. I'm Malva from Sweden. I'm studying at the Modern Japanese Studies program at Hokkaido University. I've been living in Sapporo since three years ago. I like to start off my mornings with a warm cup of coffee. I like to make my own coffee. It tastes the best. Oh, what a fun packed day. Today I'm going to the gym and then going skiing. Oh, and I have classes too. After I've had my coffee, I like to exercise. The winters in Sapporo can be long. And since I don't go outside that much, I have to do all my exercise at the gym. It's important to keep your body moving. This year, I'm taking all of my classes online. At first, I wasn't used to it, but there are many good things about online classes. For example, 
I can do all of my assignments in my own pace. All of the professors are really being creative and trying to make the classes as easy to understand as possible. And Professor Ito seems to be having extra fun with it. Staying at home can be boring sometimes, so I tend to go out and look at nature. When I have time, I go to my favorite place in the university, the school library. In there, I usually study. There are a lot of books in the library that interest me, usually on math, physics, and chemistry. Sometimes I also do a bit of programming in the university. Today, I have a face-to-face -face class. So I'll go from the library, eat my lunch, and then go to the next class. Um, aside from online classes, face-to-face -face classes also have some good points. I get to meet my classmates, interact with them, talk with them. I also get to make new friends. For this class, since I have Japanese friends, I am ready to make some new Japanese friends. And aside from that, sometimes the classes are easier to understand well, because the teacher is directly in front of you. So yeah, I'm looking forward to enjoy this class. So far, I have been living alone for one and a half years. In that time, I have learned to cook for myself. Sometimes, I go to the supermarket to find fresh food. Luckily, in Sapporo, there's a lot of fresh food in reasonable prices. Ah, uh, I'm getting a bit hungry. I wonder where I should eat my lunch today. There are so many different places to eat at campus. Hmm. I think I'll go here today. Ah, looks delicious. Itadakimasu. I love the croissants here. I like to take it easy and study on my own. It helps me focus. So for tonight, since I'm in a good mood, I'll try to make a new dish by combining Japanese abura somen and Filipino gingling, which literally translates to ground meat. Let's see what I can do. Mmm, it was so good. In order to relax before studying, I usually listen to music or play music. When I came to Sapporo, I bought a ukulele and I have been practicing ever since. So yeah, this is my one day in Hokkaido University. Of course, there are a lot of ups and downs in living abroad, but you don't have to worry because, well, it's like me, you may learn how to adjust. So far, it's very enjoyable studying in the Integrated Science program. So yeah, that's it. See ya! I don't have any classes in the afternoon today, so I will go skiing. Skiing is my favorite thing to do in the winter. Even though Sweden is so far away, I feel at home when I'm skiing. It's amazing how close the slopes are to the city here. I feel spoiled with options for going skiing when I live in Sapporo. This has been a day in my life in Sapporo. I'm having so much fun here every day. I hope you will enjoy it too. Bye! Today, I introduced just a few of the attractions of our university. 
Hokkaido University is blessed with a present environment and attracts people from all over the world with various aspirations and specialties. Here you can receive an excellent education for your future. We look forward to seeing you here at Hokkaido University.